Making headlines with his luxurious and imaginative creations is influential high-end French fashion designer Christian Lacroix. Lacroix found his love for theater and fashion at an early age. He started by sketching historical costumes and fashions and attended the University of Montpellier, followed by Sorbonne in Paris, where he studied dress in French 18th century painting. It was at this time that he also pursued a program in museum studies at the Louvre Museum. By 1978, he was working at French fashion firm Hermès, where he concentrated on color schemes and implemented designs. Not long after, in 1981, Lacroix was working at the Paris fashion house of Jean Patou. It was here that he established himself and opened his couture and ready-to-wear design house in 1987. It was then that Lacroix began to gain recognition for his opulent fantasy creations, which included his short puffball skirt. Drawing inspiration from diverse cultures, he set about with his ready-to-wear clothing, which was followed by jewelry, handbags, shoes, glasses and scarves. His 1992 collection encouraged women to take on a new femininity and revealed an eclectic mix of design inspired by popular culture. Daywear suits with collots and hats and floral trouser suits with check jackets were all part of the new look. Lacroix in 1994 confirmed himself as the up-and-coming star of the French fashion world in the eyes of many seasoned observers after a rapturously received spring-summer haute couture collection in Paris. The collection included evening gowns of taffeta, tulle or organza with pieces of drapery added to the bust or cascading down the skirt front. Also featured were pastel satins and chiffons highlighted by black chantilly. Shimmering embroidery was sculpted into bustiers and ingenuously tailored jackets that clinched the waist. By 1999, he had wowed the fashion crowd and brightened up the haute couture season with a burst of bold color and a flight of fantasy. The million shocking pink, canary yellow and chartreuse flashed from swelling petticoated skirts and stunning satin evening gowns while 18th century style jackets with bowed sleeves were a tribute to an exuberant femininity that defied the dark minimalist streak. From 2002 to 2005, Lacroix served as creative director for Italian fashion house Emilio Pucci, but was sad that he could not stay with the label due to other commitments that would not allow him to be fully effective. The French fashion designer was then invited by the Museum of Decorative Arts to become the curator and historian. The result was an exhibition where Lacroix gave his own personal vision of the history of fashion. Showcasing pieces taken from the museum collections and pieces chosen from his own haute couture creations, all mixed and organized by themes, color or fashion themes, he mixed his own modern creations along with other designers' work from the past, matching a Lacroix bustier with a Schiaparelli skirt from the 1950s. Like a lot of designers, Lacroix has a loyal fan following, including actress Tandy Newton, who wore with extreme grace and beauty a pale taffeta Lacroix dress, while the queen of the silver screen, Helen Mirren, looked glamorous in a gown with a lace bodice. Lacroix's future in the fashion world is bright. Recent collections have shown color and elegance, while also having the rock chick feel and styles reminiscent of the 1980s. Lacroix breaks all the rules when it comes to fashion, and it's that that has made him a major success.